morning, Internet. Happy Wednesday. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.08 a.m. 5.08 a.m. Every single day, 5 a.m. Today, it didn't take me so long to set up the camera. Number one, shout out to everyone that gave me amazing messages on vlog number one. I was super nervous. I barely even slept the night before. What are they going to say? Are they going to trash it? Are they going to like it? I thought it came out amazing. Obviously, we're just going to tweak it, get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Obviously, any questions that you have, why are you doing this, the lifestyle and things like that. It took me 10 years to get to where I am, you know, just mentally. I was a total disaster at age 22 and 25 I got a little bit better and then a little bit better and then just one percent better every single day so that's why I started vlogging so essentially from now on is going to be the expansion of BPI there's going to be massive accountability on our part and I also want to document in the future going back and saying I remember vlog number one when we were doing that so welcome to vlog number two again 5 a.m. every single day doing the morning routine we journal we meditate we do our affirmations and then we hop to the gym today at the gym we have this girl that loves squatting with heavy weights and I don't like squatting with heavy weights so I'm gonna absolutely burn out my legs today next shot is gonna be in the office have an awesome day talk to you guys soon welcome to vlog numero dos I gotta tell you so I, I posted on Instagram that it was a little scary I didn't sleep at all Monday barely slept yesterday because I was worried about what you guys would think and I said you know what just start just screw it just do it and then people were like yeah you should just do it. Well, the only thing holding us back in life or anything else is fear. So and one of them. And an editor. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Times Square roof. The montage starts now. the vlog yesterday is my buddy Jeff I know he wasn't as exciting that's really what it came down to he's the bicyclist that I, I go biking with, <laughs> with. Yeah, right, yeah. all right go follow him on Instagram cool. Jeff Wesinger all right so when we first started the vlog one of the biggest things that I noticed was that what I really want to do is 50% is BPI 50% is actually entertainment but now I've been thinking about it and especially because of yesterday it took a lot of energy to do what we did and that was just a half day of filming so what I noticed was it's going to be one third personal development because that's what I'm into it's all woo woo to everyone else they're like oh you're into personal development yeah that's why I'm like relatively sane and then one third is going to be BPI and one third is going to be entertainment so you guys leave your comments below what you like better what you don't like better we're completely malleable we have Jojo behind the camera he's a total stud and we're gonna mix and match whatever you guys like so leave your comments below talk to you soon let's go make some phone calls We're gonna go see a for sale by owner. It literally took me six months to get in front of this guy. Multiple conversations, multiple emails, multiple texts, way too many times hung up on in the beginning. And now, September 20th, I'm finally getting in front of him after calling him in May. Persistence, it's the only way. Because I know one thing, there is not one agent that is still talking to him right now. Not one agent, I'm the only one. I guarantee it, everyone else gave up. So, now I just gotta be on time. <laughs> So this is the guy that, that we're gonna go meet. It's taken me all this time, he's hung up on me, and I called him back, he loves the resilience, he's an old school kind of guy, and emailed, called, uh, wrote notes, pretty much everything in the book, you know, wrote out the entire summer, and now we're finally getting our first meeting. We may be late, but at least we're getting the meeting, and I anything to just get in front of the person, that's really what it comes down to, is that when you're, when you're making the calls, if there's no contact information, it's just to get the email back. When you get the email back, then you wanna get on the phone, and then when you get on the phone, you wanna get the appointment, and then when you get the appointment, then you wanna get the listing. And that's really the process every single time. There's, there's no way, unless it's really hard to go from just the phone call, Call to the listing. The reason being is that they're getting hit up by you know 80, 90 people. You know these are a day. yeah a day. These are other agents that are also trying to get in front of the person. So that's why I actually like people that we're going to go meet because it took so long to get in front of them that no one else is actually there. Full UN assembly. All of Sixth Avenue is completely clogged up. We had to hop out of the cab and now we're literally sprinting. We're a block away. Just texted him saying that we are a block away. We'll be good to go though because he's a very calm guy and we'll smooth over the situation. How did real estate agents do it back in the day. None of the technology. 
I love it. So these are the types of clients I really like because they're not only are they engaging, they're witty, but they're entrepreneurial. So they really go after their emotions instead of logic. They go, you know what, this feels right? And they just take action. That's it. They don't need any spreadsheets. They don't need anything. He does it. Sometimes he fails. Sometimes he does good. Sometimes he does bad. Here he comes, which is luck. All right, so we're literally right near my first office space, which is right there. And I moved out of there. It was class A, it was beautiful, 1271 Avenue of the Americas. And the reason that I moved out of there is because they jacked the rent up and then they took the security deposit and it actually all works out for a reason. And the reason being is because I absolutely love where we work now. I love the office space, I love the vibe, I love the building. I love everything about it. So everything works out for a reason, even when it doesn't look like it's going to. And I thought at that time when I had to literally move offices, I thought I have to change all the addresses. I have to do all these things that it, it might be embarrassing or whatever. It all worked out. So always look towards the future. Essentially walked in. Uh, it's a total gut renovation that we just came from. Too bad, too bad. Stunning uh, what it could be. It's one of the old buildings built in the 30s, so it's sick right near the park and things like that. I do appreciate everyone that actually threw out some good comments on the first vlog. This is number two. Today was way more busy. Happy Rosh Hashanah to everyone that celebrates. Happy holiday. I am not, but I do wish everyone a beautiful Happy New Year. Uh, any comments, anything you want to see, anything you don't want to see anymore. I think we got feedback from the first one, which was saying, we like to see the montages, but we don't want to hear you talking so much. So we changed it up. Have an awesome day. Subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon.